Hey what's up guys this is me Maru back with another video recently Motorola announced two new smartphones one is Moto Z and the other is Moto Z Force these phones are very similar just there are few specification difference in this device in these two devices in this video we will be taking a look at these two new devices and we'll see what specification do they provide and how will they perform and also Motorola launched some few swappable back covers which uh, Motorola is calling them Moto Mods uh, so we'll see what are these Moto Mods and what do they provide and what features do they have so let's get started with this video So after Moto X and Moto X Force, Motorola has brought Moto Z and Moto Z Force. First we'll take a look at the Moto Z. Let's start with the display first. We have 5.5 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2560 pixels and has a pixel density of 535 ppi. It has the Corning Gorilla Glass 4 and the display looks really very beautiful and the colors are bright and vibrant. Next we have is storage. Moto Z comes in 32 and 64GB variants and has a 4GB of RAM. Also this device comes with micro SD card slot where you can insert memory card up to 256GB. Next we'll talk about is the design. Moto Z comes with metal design all around and is the slimmest phone right now available in the market. It is so slim and thin that it lacks a 3.5mm headphone jack. Now that's the question, how will you use your headphones or your phones to your music? Well, you would be able to use it via USB Type-C port. You don't have to buy special earphones for USB Type-C. You can use your standard earphones with using a connector from USB Type-C to 3.5mm headphone jack and this connector will be provided by Motorola in the box when you purchase the device though they have made the device thin we have the camera hump on the back and you don't have to worry about as it will get covered by the Moto Mods uh, when you put them on your Moto Z the weight of the slim device is 136 grams to the left of the device we have volume buttons and below it we have the power button to the right we have nothing to the bottom we have a usb type c port and to the top we have the noise cancellation microphone and the sim card tray to the front of the device we have a notification led light microphone sensors a fingerprint scanner and a 5 megapixel front facing camera with led flashlight to the back we have 13 megapixel rear facing camera with dual tone led flashlight on the battery side, Moto Z comes with 2600 mAh non-removable battery and on the software side, Moto Z comes with Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow It has Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset with dual core 2.15 GHz and 1.5 GHz Cryo CPU and has Adreno 530 GPU So now let's talk about the camera Moto Z comes with 13 megapixel ray facing camera with f1.8 aperture. It has laser autofocus, optical image stabilization, and dual tone LED flashlight. This 13 megapixel camera can record 2160p video at 30 frames per second and 1080p video at 60 frames per second, and has face detection touch focus and HDR mode. On the front side, Moto Z comes with 5 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture and also has front facing LED flashlight. This front facing camera can record 1080p video. Now let's talk about the Moto Z Force. There's not much difference between the Moto Z and Moto Z Force. 
Moto Z Force also comes with same 5.5 inch AMOLED display with 1440 by 2560 pixels. But the difference is in the display where Moto Z Force display comes with shatterproof protection which means if you drop the phone then also there won't be any scratch or crack on the display. Another difference is in the rear facing camera. Moto Z Force comes with 21 megapixel rear facing camera and this camera also has face detection autofocus with laser autofocus. The difference is also in the battery where Moto Z Force comes with 3500 mAh non-removable battery. Moto Z and Moto Z Force both these devices comes with fast charging with 50% of charge in just 15 minutes. That's really amazing. While Moto Z Force has larger battery it becomes little bit heavier than Moto Z. The weight of Moto Z Force is 163 grams and is also little thicker than Moto Z. Though the device is thick but it lacks 3.5 mm headphone jack and you have to use USB type C to 3.5 mm connector. Rest all other specification of Moto Z are same for Moto Z Force. So we have got to know everything about Moto Z and Moto Z Force. But the main reason of launching and bringing them to the market is evolution of modularity and bringing them in reality. And in last one year, we have heard a lot about modularity and now we can use them through swappable back covers, which Motorola and Lenovo are calling them Moto Modes. Moto Modes comes in various sizes shape, design and all this depends on what features they are providing. Over here you don't have to switch off your device or remove anything from bottom of the device and take something out. Basically the mods which are like phone cases or covers that goes around the back of the phone. As here we have the battery case or battery cover and as we snap that on the back of the phone you will hear a sound or see an animation which tells that you have put a mod and the device starts to charge. So it acts as a battery cover or a battery case and all this is possible through those 16 gold dots on the back of the device which acts as a connector between the device and mods. One of the cool Moto mod is a Moto Insta Share projector which goes on the back of the device and projects your screen up to 70 inch on any flat surface and gives a feeling of a big screen. This thing has one hour of internal battery but once that dies out you can use phone's battery. You should get 2.5 hours of battery on Slim Moto Z and 4 hours of battery on Moto Z Force. And also there's a JBL sound boost which goes around the back of the device and makes the device a lot thick but has 10 hours of battery inside and provides really great loud and brighter sound just as a Bluetooth speaker does. Hello? It looks like modularity is the future of mobile phones and if developers and third party companies bring some interesting phone cases with different features then modularity can be the future of mobile phones and moto mods will be on the top. So if you enjoyed this video then hit the like button and also share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if I missed anything then do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.